everyone um i know it's been a while since i've been on here but what i've been doing is trying to um do a little something different on my channel so i decided that i was gonna do like a budget planner um this year um i just feel like i need to get everything organized so um i bought this binder here at dollar general for one dollar and then i just had a few things that i just used that i had on hand to kind of decorate it a little bit um so when you open it this is the first page um that i made let me move this out the way okay and i do like butterflies and i don't know for some reason i've been into the color purple lately so but um this is what i decided to go with um i'm just beginning so it's it's, it's a process um, this first section here of my planner, um, I printed off my calendar off of my um, Google app. I hope you guys can see that. My lighting is still horrible, but you know, like I said, I have I have some plans for this year, so we're gonna go with this. So the right here is just a year overview of the calendar, and then I highlighted the dates that I wanted um, to show my paydays. Okay. Okay, and then the next section, we're gonna go into January. So let me just zoom out. Now, um, like I said, I've been watching a lot of videos. So I was just trying to figure out what design that I want for myself. So this page here, when I first started, this is what I did. I wrote a little quote on here. Try to, you know, do something a little inspirational. Um, I created myself um, a key. So when I go in to write stuff into the budget portion of my planner, this is the key color code that I'll be using. And how I'll uh, be marking things off. Now, these pages here, as far as like, um, I did it, you know, for weekly. So, you, as you can see, it has Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And, and um, I'm still working on the design of it. So, a little note section. That's why I have this um, highlighted. And then I put another key here because I didn't want to keep um, going back and forth to flip. But what I also did was um, I just put it where it would be in my view. And this is just a little box that I use to keep my, um, my highlighters, my pens, my ruler, pens, pencils. I, I prefer to use um, mechanical pencils. And I decided that I'm going to use a color code system. Okay. One moment. Okay. So let me do that. So, so let me turn this around so you guys can see. Now, this page here is going to be my monthly projections. And this is how much I expect my paychecks to be throughout the month. Okay, you see that? And then I've listed my expenses for the month, and they are cut color-coded. I wrote down the dates that they are due, the total amount due, and how I'm going to distribute the payments throughout uh, the paychecks. Okay, and then down here is um, what the totals are. And what the um, amount should be left over. Okay. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing that for each uh, pay. I now, um, I get paid um, bi-weekly. So this section here, I just threw some notebook paper in there in case I have any thoughts or ideas. Or maybe even to write reminders down on. I'm going to write it in this section on the notebook paper. And as you can see here, I put brainstorm, thoughts and ideas. Um, what I did with this right here and this right here, I had a 
planner from last year. So what I did was I cut these sections out and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to incorporate those into my planner. So um, I also cut out the to-do list, um, my goals, um, as you can see, the daily routine. Oops, sorry. Just a couple of blank um, things here, just in case I decide to write something down. Um, I also clipped out where it says special dates. Okay. That's as far as all of that goes, okay? So let me just move these out the way. And as you can see, like I said, I'm still working on the, on the uh, design of my calendar or my planner, I should say. And I wanted to do like a box um, set up for each day of the week. And in each box, I'm sorry. And in each box, I'm just going to write down, um, you know, whatever happens for that day or whatever I have planned that, you know, for that particular day throughout the week. My little inspirational page. I've also um, cut this out of the planner that I had from last year. And as you can see, um, you see the glitter tape. And I also got that from Dollar General as well. And I got this kind of tape that they had. And it has glitter on it. And it was a two pack, and I think it was like a dollar fifty for two of them. So it came with that color, and it also came with this color. But I really was looking for like pink and purple, but I, I'll use my green one eventually. You know, in fact, I might use this for the month of uh, for the month for the month of March or April when spring is about to come around. Put some notebook paper in here. And I have my little notes and stuff for each day of the week. Some days I write down, you know, uh, what I'm going to cook for dinner. Now, um, this right here, you see where it says stuff, cash envelopes. I'm going to, um, well, what I have done, I've already done it. I've created cash envelopes. And I made um, I made my own. Now um, this section here is once again paycheck. Is this is going to be my paycheck tracker? Okay. And I did go into my Google spreadsheets and I created this page. Okay. You see a lot of stuff that's crossed out because I'm still working on, on the design. And this particular week. Um, I was having some um, some issues, some unexpected um, expenses that was going on. So you see a lot of things that's crossed off. Now, you, I'm not going to go all the way and zoom in on this section because there's some things that I would like to keep private. Okay. And I'm going to also create a um, sink and funds here. And I wrote down some little notes as to what had happened and, you know, how I was feeling about that day. Now, this next section is um, going to be where I'm going to create a cash envelope breakdown. And what I'll do is I'm going to write down each of my expenses. Or at least, um, well, actually, because it's cash envelope, these are the things that I pay cash for. So I made a list of everything that I make cash for. And I put the cash breakdown um, on this area here. So, you know, ones, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, and one hundreds. And how much I'll need for whatever bill it is that I'm going to need it for. Okay. And with this week, I started feeling a little bit more creative. I'm starting to get a little bit more um, comfortable. And I was just trying to figure out what kind of design style that I was going to use for my planner. Now, I know a lot of people use like the stickers 
and everything. But, um, and I may go ahead and get some and incorporate stickers into my planner. But for now, this is what I'm going to use until I get ready because I haven't quite made a decision on that. And this right here, and I'm trying to do this with one hand. So one second, please. Hold on. Uh-oh. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So this right here is, is a, a bookmark that I made for this section. Um, I drew this flower. It's the only flower that I know how to draw. So I'm just trying to throw it, you know, a little design, something on there. And I wrote something a little bit um, inspirational on here. This is a quote from The Help. <laughs> I don't know if anyone has seen that. Okay. And then I'll just put this back. And this is how um, I'm going to mark off, like, where I'm at, which uh, week I am, with you know, within the month. Okay. And I told you this is the only flower that I know how to draw. So I drew that. We had Jean work... Uh, uh, Jean Day today at work, and um, we also had they served us lunch as well. So I marked that down. I had wrote it on the wrong day right there. So um, this here, this page here, I'm gonna use to track my coins because I'm trying to do a little personal challenge and see how much change that I can save. So I don't even carry my change each night. What I've been doing is coming home. And um, I take whatever change, if I spent any money that day. And what I have been doing is, I'm trying to pull the containers that I'm keeping my coins in. Okay, so what I did was, I got these containers here at Dollar General. And it was four of them. Four dollar. Um, I bought stickers and put stickers on them. And... Um, you know, Q is for quarters, N is for nickels, D is for dimes, and P is for pennies. And I try to keep this color coded as well. And I just went throwing my little change into these containers here. You see, I got some pennies in there. So let me just stack them up right here. Use my little desk area, and I'm what I'm. Uh, the plan is, or what I'm going to try to do is, you know, if I collect change every day, I'm going to write down the date, how much change I had, and I'm going to keep on doing this until the end of each month, and then I'm going to um, write down the totals here. And my plan is to go and get some coin rolls, and roll the coins up at the. Um, at the end of the month that way so I can you know keep track of how much I'm saving <sighs> trying to save my coins y'all trying to save my coins and um, this is for the last week of January and as you can see here's my payment uh, my paycheck tracker and which bills are going to be coming out this last paycheck of the month like I said, I get paid bi-weekly, so I get three pays this week. And this here is, once again, the cash envelope breakdown. And it's going to be for that date. And I was trying to get, you know, a little design going on in here. This is how much I plan on breaking my, uh, the, my cash down to. And since I'm trying to get ahead of myself, I decided that... Um, well, I have, I have pretty much, well, not, mm, I don't have all the months in here. I think I'm all, I'm, I'm, I've got it all set up all the way up until March. So I, I'm just going to do it probably um, every three months and then just so I can get ahead. So next, you know, February, I see I have March already ready to go. And then next month, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do another three months just so up, all the way up until the end of the year. Um, I have my dividers in here already for each month 
And um, I really like these dividers here. And I got these also at the Dollar General, and they were a dollar a piece. You get like five of them in a pack. So I bought three packs. Okay. And let's see here. I just threw stuff in here until I get ready to get it a little bit more organized. Now, um, I also bought these um, sheet protectors, but I don't like the Dollar General ones. They're very thin and flimsy, and I'm going to show you what I mean. Look at this. Look how, look how thin that is. It has no weight to it. It was hard for me to put anything in here. It was a struggle. It, it took longer than it should have. So what I'm going to do with these, um, what I made was, let's see here. Just give me a second so I can, um, hold on one second. Just give me a second so I can pull them up. Because I made some um, cash envelopes and I went online to look for those too. So I'm just going to set this here for a second. And what I've been doing is trying to work on a design to do my cash envelopes. So, I have some um, that I made already. Okay. So, this cash envelope I made. And what I did was, I just took a page and did the measurements of what the size of a, of a dollar bill was. And um, I took it from one of these adult coloring books. Okay. And then I just, and oh, I forgot I even had this one colored in. Okay, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one for something. And I really like those. And, and, then, um, and then I bought some labels which were also um, a dollar. Just a little small pack of uh, mailing labels. These were a dollar at Dollar General. So I have one for savings. Um, I was working on this one last night. And this is just uh, the cash envelope that I'm going to use for, you know, whose ever birthday is coming up for the month. And, you know, uh, if I decide to get them a gift, I'm going to try to have money already saved in here so I can go ahead and get that person a gift. Um, this one is for gas. And I'm going to work on this. I'm, I'm probably going to change this too. This one, I might just leave it as it is because I need for this to stand out when I have it in my wallet. But this is for rent. Look at that. My T is crooked. Oh, it's coming off, actually. I have to fix that. Um, I know I have more than that. But anyway, you get the gist of it. This is this is the cash envelopes. And they're really... I, I mean, it's... You would not believe how much this has helped me out already by using these type of envelopes. I have some notebook paper here. And I bought some of these um, mailing envelopes. And I'm going to um, keep track of my bills. What I normally pay on. So this one, obviously, you see, is, is labeled for internet. And I may draw something on, on these two. I have this one for the gas bill. And these, these right here are for my utilities. So, and I have them in these envelopes because, um, let me see. Well, most of them I pay with a, um, with a debit card. Except for rent. For rent, we pay cash. So this one is labeled, but I want to keep the receipts that we get for our rent. That's what these are. These are for receipts. That's what these envelopes are for, to keep the receipts in. And electric. Because I, I, I pay my bills online, so I can always go in and print off the receipt for these. Okay, put these in here. 
So this is why I haven't been on my channel lately because I've been trying to do something a little bit different and I'm just so curious about a lot of different things and I don't mind trying new things. So this is what I've been doing. And um, so far it's fun. This is an envelope that I made for savings as well with my drawing of the one flower that I only, only flower I know how to dry, draw, excuse me savings and it, it originally i had a label on here that said um rainy day so these are supposed to be raindrops and i started drawing and i completed a flower on the back i'm gonna draw one on this side i really like this so i'm gonna use that still i might have to relabel it um i'm not sure yet so to get started, because I just didn't see myself spending a lot of money on a lot of like these more popular um, planners that are out now. Um, I just I just don't see myself spending sixty dollars on a planner. I just I, I can't I can't even I can't fathom that. It's like I, I feel like if I'm trying to save money, why would I spend that much money on a planner? I'll just study. Go through a lot of, there's a lot of websites that you can go to who uh, give you like free printouts. You can go to the Dollar Tree. They have planner pages, but I felt more creative. I feel like I would be more into the budgeting thing if I created my own pages for my planner. So that's why I did it the way that I did. So um, I got this calculator also at the Dollar Tree. All of this, this is less than $2. This was less than $2. I got the labels. I um I went to save a lot one day to do some grocery shopping. And they had scissors uh, maybe about mm, almost a month ago. These scissors here are by Scotch, the same people who make Scotch tape. Um, They had them for $0.99. Cent. But right now they have a markdown for 69 cents. So if anybody need any household scissors, they're 69 cents right now at Save a Lot. Um, and then I bought some highlighters, which were a dollar at Dollar General. I got a two pack of rulers. These are um, and they were you got two of them for a dollar. Like I said, um, I like mechanical pencils, and I believe I got like four or five of them in a pack for a dollar. And I already had these. These are the um, Paper Mate erasable pens, which I love. And I'm not sponsored by any of the names that I have mentioned who are brand name. These are just products that I like. Um. I also bought, you got like two of these, remember these? I love these. I got two of these um, pink erasers for a dollar. Um, I got a pack of multicolored um, paper clips, and I believe those were a dollar. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but this is say everything was under $2 a piece. my stuff back oh and then i got the um i got a pack of index cards and they these were ooh, i want to i think these were a dollar as well and i forget let me see i got a pack here that's not opened yeah you get a hundred of them and they may have been two for a dollar or for a dollar a piece i'm not sure but um, I have plans for these, too. Uh, and I still am old school. I like the Correctional Fluid by Bic. And I also got uh, the Elmer's Glue. I'm going to get it into focus here for you. And this is the washable glue, and it also disappears. Um, 
yeah, disappearing purple. It comes out purple, but then as soon as you put it on, it, it, it'll turn. You won't see it anymore. It, dis it literally disappears. And um, I believe that's all that I got. Some of the things that I have are things that I already had. And I'm still working on a few things. This little um, box here, something that I've made myself. Keep my pens and papers in. I just, I like it anyway. I'm not done, completely done with it. I'm going to do something else with that, but I'm not completely done with it. But yeah, um, so that's what's been going on with me. And I just wanted to show you guys. Okay, it's kind of hard to do everything <laughs> with one hand. Oh, and I forgot. Um, th they had their own brand of the sticky sticky notes. And I'm a, definitely a sticky note person. I've already used several of them already. And I believe it came with pink, yellow, and orange. Came in these three colors. And they were a dollar, but they may have they may have um, the posted brand for a dollar as well. Um, I just didn't see them the day that that I went, but I think it was a deal, and it was a good way to start. Okay, and yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it, I believe. Um. I did get scotch tape, um, also at Save a Lot, and they had this marked down also for um, sixty nine cents. You just get one, but it was marked down to sixty nine cent. Okay, guys. Um, like I said, um, I'm having fun with it um, so far. It's funny because I've always gotten like one of those little pocket um, calendars or whatever. And I never really used them. Um, I do have a pocket one right here. Hold on. Actually. Okay. And this is what I've been working on. So, can you let me see. Let me close that. Okay. So, this is another. Uh, this was a. Um, this is a weekly, um, monthly calendar that I carry in my purse. And this is just a felt heart that I uh, glued onto the cover of it. Okay, and when you open it, it has your, you know, where you can put your personal information. I don't like to do that just in case, you know, I lose it or something. I don't, I really don't want my personal information put in there. It's a two-year calendar, uh, well, a three-year calendar because it has, two, well, this one has 2019 20 and 2021 um i've already filled in let's see here i've already filled in the dates for uh the yearly portion of it that's what this is this is the yearly portion of it i've already filled in the days and i've even marked off um whatever holidays are coming up for each of, of those months, at least the national holidays, the, the well-known ones. And then the second portion of it is um, the weekly. But it comes with a note section in the front. Um, I drew my little flower there. I made some little notes to myself here. Um, I have my key here, just in case I'm, I'm not um, at home with it. Um uh, I'm going to be coding with DC for debit card payments and C for cash payments. And it, it looks kind of <laughs> crazy right now because I hadn't, I, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Um, but then I started to get a little bit more um, inspired. So this um, is for the month of January. And basically you fill in um you fill in the dates let me zoom in you fill in the dates and all i did was just highlighted it 
Okay. For each day of the week. I have a lot of eraser marks. Like I said, I was just trying to uh, figure out which design I was going to go with. Okay. Have some notes here. Um, I just wrote this as a little reminder to myself to find my design style. I did this myself. I didn't know that Bic made different colored pens besides blue, black, and red. So, um, I found this Bic. Isn't that pretty? Like a uh, aquamarine color. That's the color that I used right here. This is just a, a, like a lighter blue. Um, I had a busy week this week. Had a lot of thoughts and stuff. So, I made some notes, some in pencil, some in pen. This here, just a, a little page marker, a little bookmark that I made just using um, a paper clip. And I had some ribbon, and I just tied the ribbon on the end here. Okay, my little notes. So, when the bills are going to be due again, color coded. And um, I started marking um, or highlighting what color I wanted for the month of February. So I'm going to do blue for February. So I'm trying to develop a theme here. Okay. I like it. I already have Valentine's Day marked off. And then when March rolls around, since St. Patrick's Day is in March, I um, began to uh, start March. So I'm going to be doing green for March. And then, no, Easter is in April. Um, I'll probably do yellow or something like that for April. And then it's going to change each month. But this is a really nice planner. Um, I do like it. Okay. And it has a section in the back where you can write addresses down. I don't even know who keeps anybody's address. Or who, I don't think people are even mail anything. There's Facebook and Instagram and all of that. That's a good way to um, keep up with, you know, friends and family. Yep. So I'm going... Oops. I'm going with the theme of purple, and I'm going to add some more um, stuff to this. I just haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but I really like what I've done with this so far, and I do like butterflies.